You should take a break. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Braden Chase. It's nice to see you guys here tonight. Um, I haven't been posting as, as rapidly and as frequently as I was before because um, I kind of rebuilt my schedule, right? And did some things over here and over there. I'm still posting a lot. I'm, I'm putting videos in the different groups that I uh, manage, that I control. Um, some are in Portuguese and some are in English and different things that I, that I take care of. Um, but there's, there's things going on all the time. Uh, but here on my page, I'm kind of being, trying to be a little bit more focused. Hi, Luciani. I'm trying to be a little bit more focused on things that are for um, uh, marketing and business and organization and productivity and copywriting and, and advertising, things like that here, um, except for Sunday, which is today. So on Sundays, I try and do a, a message that's a little bit more geared toward the heart because I, I believe that that's kind of the, the starting point of all of this of whether you are a business, whether you're trying to do a business, right, which is, you know, what a lot of people are trying to do, or if you are trying to learn a language, which a lot of my students are trying to do, right, trying to learn a language. It starts with here, and it starts with your heart and with why, okay, why are you trying to do this? And um, there's lots of different reasons why we try and do things, and everybody's reason is a little bit different. Um, but we always have a reason why we're trying to do these things. Um, and we often um, kind of move forward and start working really hard on our on our goals or on our objectives. We want to start our business or learn a language or take a trip or do all these different things. And it uh, we work really, really, really hard, right? We hustle, right? That's a word that's used a lot in entrepreneurship, right? You got to do the hustle. You got to hustle and get your work done and do all these different things. And it's always a lot and a lot of work and a lot of time to do those things. Um, but today, um, I wanted to kind of stop that <laughs> and talk about taking breaks uh, because yes you do need to hustle uh, but you can only hustle so much you can only hustle so far before you break and um, there was a there was a time about let's see how old am I I'm 35 so about 15 years ago give or take I was I was a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I, um, it, it was a great time for me. And then I came home and I started kind of feeling a little bit lost because um, when you're a missionary, right, for, for God, you're kind of focused on those things for God and you get a little lost. Hi, Katie, nice to see you. And you get kind of, but um, as a missionary, you get kind of lost in that work. You get lost in that focus and helping and, and supporting and guiding and helping people in that way. And when I came back from my mission, I was kind of, Kind of a little bit lost right on things like that now what do i do and uh, there was a man that i knew and i kind of looked up to him at the time and i asked him, i said I, I don't know what to do i'm starting to be a little bit broken and a little bit less uh driven in these things right I, I love helping people but i'm also kind of falling back into my own self how do i do this and being a wise person hi katie um he did not just say well do this he actually opened up the scriptures and said well read this. <laughs> and he handed me uh, the book of Exodus and the Ten Commandments, uh, where it says, remember the Sabbath day uh, to keep it holy. And I said, huh, okay, I do, I do that, right? I, I, I keep it holy, right? And I'm not going to get into definitions of holy, right? That's, that's a whole other discussion. But one of the parts of this that was very strong for me was breaking, was taking a break, was resting, was separating, was this is normal life over here, line, this is the resting day, this is the stopping day, this is the God day, this is the something, right? And, and this shift that's gone on. And that lesson has stayed with me now for 15 years. I can still remember sitting in the guy's office talking to him about this. And um, it, was, it was a big turning moment for me in a lot of different ways. Um, at, a, at a different time in my life, somebody else had said, Okay, Braden, as you get older, you're going to have a lot of responsibility, th responsibility thrown on you as you get older. Hey, Danielle, and um, you need to be ready for it, right? Your responsibilities will be very much increased. Be ready. So I'm like, okay, how do I be ready for this, right? How do I do this stuff, <laughs> right? Focus, work, whatever. And so I, was, I was always about organization and planning and being ready to handle responsibilities and negotiate all these different things. Um, and I got really, really overwhelmed with all of the things that I was doing. And breaking, taking a break, separating, shifting, slowing down. Uh, for me, turning to God, right, particularly on Sunday, but also during the week at different times, 
was uh, game changing, right? If you want to use that phrase, it uh, saved my life. It helped my life to be able to stop and to let go of all of the tons of business and life and stress and, and everything that's going on to let go and to breathe just for a little bit. And that's why I put the title of this video on as that way, right? You need to take a break because you really do. <laughs> we all need to take at least one break, right? During the week, if not more, right? More than one break. And um, those of you who have been following me for a little while, you know that I, I, I'm doing a lot, right? I've got a business, I've got school, I've got classes, I've got students, I've got family, I've got fa uh, my, my wife and my kids, we've got health problems in the family, we've got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, a lot of crazy, a lot of fun, but a lot of crazy and a lot of busy. And it's uh, been, in a lot of ways, overwhelming. And I've had to kind of come back to this, this teaching, right? This idea of taking a rest, take a break. Okay, in order to shoulder more weight and take on more things, hey, Alexandri, I got to step back and rest. If I'm going to lift more weight, then I need to rest more so that I can lift the more weight later on. You have to be able to breathe. Now, there's all sorts of techniques on, uh, like during the normal week, about when you would take a break. Do you take a break when you are, uh, you know, every 48 minutes and 13 seconds, you should take a break or something like that. And for some people, that stuff works really well. So I'm not going to knock it because I've seen it work out really well. Um, but uh, more often, for most people, the it's better to follow your own rhythm. Right? You work really hard and then you, you feel yourself getting tired, so step back and take a break. When your momentum has slowed down, then you should slow down too. When you feel yourself getting tired, step back and move away. And then come back later and you'll have more energy, you'll have more focus, you'll have more ability to do what you need to do. And that applies, you know, each day as you go, you know, for an hour, two hours, you know, 90 minutes, whatever, however long you work in your blocks. Take a block and then take a break and then take a block and then take a break out. And the same thing goes for a week, right? We work for six days, take a break and like really take a break. Don't just like, oh, I'm going to hang out for the day, right? But like really take a break, shift, refocus. Because as I said at the very beginning of all of this, right, of this, of this video here, it starts in your heart. We all do what we do for a reason. And if you don't step back and think, and remember what those reasons are, then you're going to get lost in the, the busyness of the daily grind of working all the time. You're going to get lost in it. And you're never going to remember what it is. Why, did, why am I doing this? And suddenly that question, instead of being an inspiring question, is suddenly an actually confusing question. Like, why am I doing this? I'm not really sure. Hold on, let me think. Because you're so distant from your own reality. You're so distant from the things that, that your actual own self and the reason you started all of this. So stay focused on these things. And one of the best ways of staying focused is to take a break, right? That's right. Shabbat. That's exactly right. Thank you very much. That's where it comes from, right? That's the word, right? Shabbat. Sabbath. That's what we say in English, right? Uh, Sabbath is the word. And that taking that day off in the week, but also taking breaks throughout the week make you better at what you do. They make you a better businessman. They make you a better businesswoman. They make you a better marketer. They make you a better uh, employee. They make you a better person. And they make you a better servant of God. So I encourage you all to take breaks. Work hard, always, right? You know that. Everybody says work hard. Working hard is good. Hey, Sam. <laughs> Uh, working hard is very important. Always work hard, but also take breaks. Breathe. I remember just kind of <laughs> illustrate this. When I was younger, I was working really hard. Right? I was going to school, had a young family, um, planning all this stuff. I'm going to change the world. I'm going to over da, 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 this huge list of things. I'm like, okay. And I sat down one day. I had my little yellow notepad, right? And I write, start writing down. Okay, I'm going to do 10 minutes of you know RSS reading. This is back when RSS feeds were still a thing. And I'm going to read the, the watch the video for this long, and I'm going to study Japanese for this long, because I studied Japanese for a while. I'm going to study Chinese for this long, because I studied Chinese too. And I'm going to do this for this long, and I'm going to do this for this long. I'm going to, to read scriptures, and I'm going to go exercise. I'm going to go travel. I'm going to um, talk with my wife. I'm going to have breakfast. Will be you know 17 minutes long, and then I'm going to do that. <laughs> I went through everything, all the things that I wanted to do in a day, right? 
And it took me like 30 minutes to go through all this stuff, right? Da -da -da -da, all these things that I'm going to do. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And I sat down and I'm like, okay. Okay, that's about right. Yeah, that's like 23 and a half hours of stuff to do. Okay, yeah, it's 24 hours in a day. Good, right. When am I going to sleep? <laughs> and it like hit me really hard. I'm like, I have too much to do. I cannot possibly do everything that I have in my head to do. I can't. It is physically impossible. And we do this to ourselves throughout a week, throughout a day. We build all of these commitments and these ideas and these things. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. 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 And if we never step back and breathe, yes, you do, right? I, I should have kept that list. It would have been good for the story. Um, but, like, I remember that. It was so strong. But if you don't take that step back and go, wait a second. Look at my schedule. This, this isn't actually possible. If you don't step back and do that... You're going to just drive yourself into the ground. You are going to fail. Hey, John, nice to see you. Um, you. You have to take the step back. You have to take a break. You have to work. You have to push. You have to sacrifice. But you have to step back as well. You have to breathe. Okay? That's the message for tonight. I hope that's helpful for you. When you take those breaks, right, learn to, to really rest, right, and to return to yourself, return to your heart, return to those reasons why you're doing things and it will change your life okay hey Enrique. have a great night everybody i hope that was helpful for you um if there's if there's any other questions that you have right like i said i do mostly marketing things um i'm not a pastor i'm not a bishop or or, a, or anything really <laughs> so i don't want to you know get beyond my own uh limits of, of knowledge or anything like that but taking a break right making that discipline to set the world down just for a little bit so you can focus will really change your life okay sit down and breathe and it'll help right and breathe for a long time <laughs> it'll help a ton if you have any questions about that i see a question here and hiki about this how do i do it right that is a great question i've kind of been on for a long time so i'm going to answer that a little bit more i'll put in some stuff hey Rafaela. <laughs> nice to see you um, I will post on that later. Carlos, nice to see you tonight, bud. These, um, th there's so many different ways, right, of, of how to do this. Um, techniques on, on breathing, right, on, on, sorry, breathing, that was metaphorical. Te techniques on, on just refocusing, right? So I'm here, I'm focused on my work, on my work, on my work. I'm thinking a lot, I'm planning. Take a break means, man, go for a walk, okay? Go for a walk somewhere. Oh, go get something to eat. Right? Like a little thing, not like a whole meal, like a snack. Or go exercise for a minute, right? One of the best ways to take a break is to exercise because that actually helps your body get stronger while you're resting, while you're taking a break, right? So this kind of a shift goes on. With me, right, I've taken, this past week has been really, really hard. I've, I've been working probably about 16 hours a day and scheduling my sleeping in weird ways so that I could make that happen. It was very stressful. But, hey, Eric. But getting all of those things done um, was, was really cool. I got a ton of stuff done, a lot of progress in my business. But I hit this point at the end where I'm like, I'm, I'm fried. I need to take a break. So I just stepped back. And for quite a few hours, <laughs> I stopped. And I went out and I kicked the soccer ball with my kids. And I threw the Frisbee with my kids. And we walked to the park and pushed my, my daughter on the swing. And it was just like not planning, not business not processing, right? Um, you are right, right? Your wife is correct, Sam. <laughs> Your wife is very correct, right? We often cannot, right? Oh, sorry, so let me read that, right? It's easier said than done with a house full of kids and a full-time job. Yes, yes, yes. I have a full-time job and I have a house full of kids and my wife agreed, yes, yes. Like a thousand percent, yes. Um, and sometimes that break is not, oh, I'm gonna go lie down on my bed in peace and quiet. Yeah, right. <laughs> Doesn't happen, right? But you can take a break just by shifting, right? Shifting your mind and shifting your perspective, right? So I'm focused on this right now. Take a break by going and taking care of your kids, right? For a little bit. And you know, let your kids over there and then go take care of this other business thing. And like a lot of people say, oh, you can work for 45 minutes, right? Focused attention. Yeah, right. It's more like three and a half <laughs> and then you kind of start over again 
But anyway, taking those breaks are a big deal. Um, one of the things that's that's helped a lot is when when we put my daughter to sleep. My kids, my older kids, right? They go to school, so they're gone for a good part of the day. But my daughter still has a nap during the day, and during that nap, it's sit down and breathe day or day time. Okay, there's a ton of stuff to do. My wife has a ton of things that need to go on. There, there's cooking and there's cleaning and there's business and there's learning and she's got she has things that she does. My wife's a designer. All these different things are going on. So there's tons of business that needs to happen. Business, right? Work that needs to happen. But you gotta shift. You gotta be different. You gotta think differently. You gotta sit down sometimes. Or if you're like me, I sit down all day long in front of a computer. Break for me usually means standing up and going and walking somewhere. So break is a really different thing. But like I said, like I said at the beginning, right? There's a lot of different ways to take a break. But the big deal is that you do take them. You do step away from that daily grind that you're having and refocus on your why. Why am I doing this? Why am I involved? Oh yeah. And then you come back and then you have energy, then you have focus, then you have desire, and then you can help people, okay? Um, that, that's kind of the message for tonight, right? Take a break, work hard, take breaks, <laughs> and keep working on all that you're doing. I hope you guys are just killing it in everything that you're working on, that you're having a great time, that you're making some progress. I'm working like crazy to do everything. If you have any interest in my other stuff that I do, I've got you know a bunch of different groups. You can look through my, my profile and stuff like that. Um, but today, right, Sundays are for just helping. So I hope that was good advice for you. If you have any other questions, post under here in the comments, and I will talk to you guys another day. Bye.